Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday morning on a lovely March morning. The snow has passed us by, as has the weekend, and now is time to recommence the working week. Isn't that right? It is. <laughs> Back in the fantastic unit. Boy, I've missed it. So today we have quite, getting shot, we have quite a few remedials to do. The toilet in the in the pub again broke. You know that quick fix that we did a couple of weeks back on the flushing system? Well, it's only plastic, and the plastic obviously ain't gonna hold up too well to multiple uses, and it's quite a lot of use that you're gonna get in a, in a public toilet in a pub. And then Froggy, the diamond, has found another supplier of Argon. Now this chap's doing 50 litre shoulder height argon bottles for the same price I'm paying for a 20. I'm gonna nip across there and see if we can't do a deal with him. Cheers Chris, thanks a lot mate. And then, if I have any time, I'll do some welding on the tanks. I wanna put a two inch outlet onto that fermenter and then that fermenter is done. I just need to put a lid on it. And uh, we don't really have to cut a stainless steel lid right away. What I can actually do is have some type of temporary lid so I can use all the stainless sheet that I've got for any other bits that I need and the lids are sort of, they're going to be the last things that go on I reckon. So Stuart's coming in at about half past ten. I'm going to whiz round, have a quick tidy up and we'll see how we're fixed for making a hole for this outlet. I might get inside the tank with a plasma torch and uh, cut away. Okay, change of plan. Don't happen often, does it? I'm going to shoot up home, I'm going to put myself some bacon and black pudding under the grill because I'm hungry and I've got an hour to wait for Stuart and at the same time I'm going to have a look for the correct flush mechanism because I can't find it looking on my phone. I'm going to go into the pub, get the flush, go up home, measure it, make sure we get the right one. If we're going to work up, we don't want to be making more than one trip and also I can't get in there and do the cutting because I need to repair the Dremel to get rid of a bit of coking on a pipe that I welded last week, blah, 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 blah. So let's go up home and have some breakfast. We'll start the day as we mean to go on, with a full belly. Probably wise of me to spare your blushes there while I just piled half a pig into myself. So after that false start, hat on, back down to the unit. Whew. I think it's a wise move that we come down into the brew shed, we'll have a look at this broken toilet flush that uh, has been reported to me and we'll see if we can't get that fixed today. And also I need to change a light bulb Ding! on the car headlights. So let's go and have a look at this, this flush first before we do anything else. Okay. So I think on account of the fact that this plastic bit that we repaired last time has failed, uh, we're going to have to just bite the bullet and buy a new part. We've seen quite a few similarities here to perhaps one could say an ex-business partner because similarly they both share the same uh, use that they're often full of shit and uh, yeah, neither of them seem to have any work left in them. Right, work's up bound. Still, I found out what this middle seat's called the other day. What? It's called the skiing seat. Yeah, for obvious reasons. I'm not sitting in it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go to Tool Station. There we go, Froggy. One bottle of Argon. Ready to go.
did not defeat me. She works, just gotta wait for her to fill up. Well, I sure as shit doubt that made interesting content, fixing the bleeding toilet. And that's put me to two o'clock and nothing done in here. But we did pick up a human goose. A human goose. Argon bottle. I now want to build some type of containment unit to prevent these gas bottles falling over. There's quite a bit of weight in these big boys. So I was going to open an account with Parker's, but I've since changed my mind. If I'm paying £80 for a small one plus £125 bottle deposit, or we'll go across to Worksop Sandblasting Supplies Place, which Froggy put me on to. Again, cheers, mate. Get that big be hosted for the same price and no bottle deposit. Friggin' awesome. One thing I did pick up from the station of the tool was a pressure gauge. So what we're going to do... Oh, come on. Son of a turkey baster. And also, the correct reducer. So we'll pop that on there. Like quit. And we will pop this on there. Yeah, and then I'm going to connect the hose pipe to the bottom. And we'll put some pressure in this backing plate and see if she... Uh, is what they died. Right, as you can see, we've got the water connected there. Doesn't matter if it's leaking out of this section here. But what does matter is this gauge. So I'm going to let the water in. We should begin to see that pressure gauge gradually increase. Aha! We have leak. Yeah. Where are you? Missed me. Yeah. Right, I've sealed up the, what I think is the hole. Right, third time's a charm folks, the battery's running out and I've got to pick the kids up. So, we're going to just let the water in again. Hopefully, we're not going to see any blowouts, this is where... Right, the battery died on me there, which is a real shame. So we've got this charged up to mains water pressure, which you'll see there is just shy, literally just shy of 40 PSI. And boy, did my heart skip a beat. So if you look at the tank from where I'm standing, you'll see that this glycol jacket has a slight bulge on it. And I think that we've lost these tacks, possibly. Lost one of them at the very least. But other than that, she seems to be holding. I can't see any drips, any leaks. The pressure is higher than it was on the previous test. And uh, I was in quite a rush to get this done so I can get going to get the kids. I'm gonna bring them back down. So provided, we don't have any more pops. Yeah, I just think, just these tacks. I probably should have made the holes bigger and really welded hard onto those bars, but also it could be the tacks holding the bars onto the tank that have gone. So I tipped the tank to make sure there was no leaks on the inside and it's actually blown the inside of the tank. You can see where it's pushed, I imagine, the bars off 
the cooling matrix and deformed the tank slightly. I have a funny feeling I can push that back into place but that tells me I really need to limit the inlet pressure on these glycol jackets to at the very maximum 20 psi. I don't want to go any more than that. I suppose that wouldn't necessarily have happened if there was liquid in the tank but it's not a risk I'm prepared to take. So on reflection once we've got that test finished and uh, relieve the pressure I might be inclined just to bring the pressure down a little bit now anyway to prevent that getting any worse I'm just going to drain it down to 20 psi I think so if I just take the pressure off we'll watch the gauge drop and then we'll we'll probably hold it at 2 bar actually we'll probably hold it at 2 bar and then when we come back we shall see how that's got on right there we are so that's sitting at 2 bar so play it safe, don't want to be popping all those tacks off but on the next tank I think I'm not just going to put tacks on there I'm going to put quite a few solid welds as well like maybe just one inch strips just to hold it all into place and then maybe a little bit more on the matrix on the outside but you live and learn very interesting, very interesting and I'm glad I didn't fill it with compressed air now and I've used water instead because I wouldn't have wanted that to go bang bang on me with air in there, that would have been a stupid, stupid mistake. Oh, I've just run back as well to write it on the tank, I made a mistake, it's not 20 psi, we're at 2 bar aren't we? We're at 2 bar, which is 30 psi. So if I run everything at 15 psi, 1 bar, that's half the rate of test pressure, well we've been up to 40, so everything should be, should be good, should be golden. installed again I'm actually quite pleased with that would you believe it that bit just there I blew a hole straight through there and I tell you what unless I told you the truth you'd never bloody know would you that I had to patch a hole up there distorted the metal a bit so I panicked and put a bit of heat into it but I'm happy with that there's the inside I just need to go in there and deburr and run around a little bit to tidy that up but again I've seen worse, once that's pickled that will come up nicely Before we go home you may hear the trickle of water that's right I've hooked up the hose pipe and we're going to leak test this bad boy Who would have thought we would have got there that quick eh folks? Who would have thought that? to about the top of the legs and looking down here I thought I saw a little leak on the seam although it seems to have stopped aha there right got one final job done before we shoot off home it's uh, probably oh, what would you say 45 degree one inch pipe, polished it up quite nicely you might be able to see that purged on the inside I could have taken these little lumps of the weld out and made it like a real sanitary can you guess where the weld is kind of finish but I don't need to so I'm not going to and I could always do that another day but I just wanted to see what it came out like if I just hit it with a buffing wheel and I'm really quite pleased with that so that will go inside the tank allowing me to rotate it it's a racking arm so I can chase the beer down so if the sediment levels here I can just rotate the beer at the racking arm until I find the sediment and just come back above the back above the sediment and then rack off the beer as low as I can get it in the tank and I have tried it as well it does fit so that will be clamped into there and then that will come through a pressed blank and on the outside you'll have a one inch bore valve so that'll be solid on there and all you have to do is just slightly loosen that nut and you can rotate the pipe inside the hole to chase the beer down the tank she 
is a winner. Right, it's nearly eight, boys and girls. Another day, another dollar. We will see you tomorrow. Cheers.